Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a Jeffree Star Mystery Box unboxing. I picked up the Supreme Box, which I believe is the biggest size you could purchase. Um, and I just, I can't wait to see what's inside. This literally just came in the mail about an hour ago. I threw on some makeup just so I can open this on camera for you guys. I have no idea what's in here. I didn't see any sneak peeks or anything. So it's going to be a legit mystery. And I'm so excited. But so yeah, let's just go ahead and get started and see what in this supreme mystery box now i do know that there's going to be some like clothing in here because they did ask your size i think i got a size large let's see Ooh. so the first thing i don't want to take a look at everything at once because that just ruins the surprise but the first thing i see is this sweatshirt now i've seen this sweatshirt before i don't know if i've maybe seen jeffrey wear it in one of his like snapchat stories or instagram stories i mean but i definitely where have i seen this this is wicked cute it just has j star on the front and then on the back hopefully you can see it has the same logo but then it says jeffree star cosmetics on the bottom and then it says jeffree star cosmetics on the sleeve so this is super super cute all right the next thing i'm just gonna reach in i literally have no idea what i'm grabbing oh it's just a little pamphlet for his star lounge that he just launched Let's grab this. Oh, it's a single eyeshadow in the shade Jawbreaker. What the heck? I didn't know he had single shadows. This must be a new thing. Okay, so we got a single shadow in the shade Jawbreaker, which I'm pretty sure this shade is in the Jawbreaker palette. It's just like a gold, um, like ivory sh sort of shade. That's super cool. I was not expecting that. I thought he only came out with single shadows for the... Um, that green shade that was in the Shane Dawson collection or collab that they did. Oh, there's another one. What the heck? Okay, there's another one in the shade Wow, which is a yellow, which I also believe is in the Jawbreaker palette. So it's just this really bright yellow. Let me see. If, I'm going to grab my Jawbreaker palette and see if these shades are in there because I feel like they are. Okay, so my Jawbreaker palette gets a lot of love. I've hit pan on these two shades. But yes, the shades Jawbreaker and Wow are in this palette. So that's quite, kind of cool to have backups of those shades if I ever run out. There's another one. Oh my God, and it's in the shade Brain Freeze, which is the one that I actually hit pan on. Yeah, I hit pan on this one. That shade, I don't know if you can tell. Yep, there you go. I hit pan on that one. So now I have a single, which is super cool to have in case I ever run out completely and I need it. I have no idea where I'm gonna put these. I think I have an empty palette I could put these in, but I was not expecting this. I think that's all of them. That's kind of cool. The only shade I'm like up, like super excited about is the Brain Freeze one because that's the one that like I use all the time, but that's still super cool. Next is this bag thing. I have literally no idea what this is. Looks like a fanny pack. Oh, it is. Oh wait, no, it's a makeup bag. That is so cute. Is this a makeup bag or? Yeah, it's not a fanny pack. It's not It's not big enough to go around your waist, but that is so cute. I've never seen this before. Oh, I love this. Oh, and the inside it has Jeffree Star logo all over it. That is so cute. I don't know if it's a makeup bag or like a purse because it's got like compartments and zippers and everything in here. Oh my god, this is so cute. Oh, I love that. Okay, I got another bag to add to my collection. <laughs> okay, the next thing feels like a Supreme Frost, which it is. And oh my god, the box is all ruined. Oh no, I hope it's not broken. Okay, so I kind of fixed the packaging a little bit. It's kind of messed up still, but that must have been something that happened during shipping. Um, but I got the Extreme Frost in the shade Sour Ice. It's just a really pretty green blue reflect to it. If you're the kind of person that loves super glittery blinding highlighters, you will love this. They are like blinding, but also like glittery and they're just so freaking pretty, especially when you like apply it with your finger. Oh, I love these so much um, and the packaging itself is super luxurious so I honestly I display these on my little shelf in my beauty room because they're so pretty but I also use them and they are so bomb I love them 
Now the next thing I already saw because I opened the box too much, but I am so excited because I've been wanting this palette, but I also didn't want to buy it because I don't need it. But just the fact that I got it in the mystery box, it kind of justified the fact that I got it because I didn't pick it out like it came as a mystery. <laughs> but this is the Orgy palette. Now I'm sure you guys already know what this looks like, but it's just basically a bunch of neutrals and it's all matte. This palette I feel like is perfect for makeup artists because I feel like a lot of people that get their makeup done want neutral shades anyways so I feel like this palette is perfect and it goes with every skin tone possible. I love how there's a bunch of cream shades and it just like has a nice ombre effect um, but I just I love it. I think it is so pretty. I personally wouldn't have purchased this because I need another neutral palette like I need a hole in my head but I am so excited because I have been like low-key wanting to try this palette so I'm so happy I got it in this mystery box. I kind of had a feeling I would get it in this mystery box like something was telling me I was gonna get it but I also like wasn't 100% sure of course it's a mystery but I'm so glad I got this I'll definitely put this into some good use now the next thing I already accidentally saw and I'm kind of a little bit disappointed only because I have received this in a mystery box in the past and I already have one myself so this is now my third one of this product and I'm kind of over it at this point but this is the um bloodlust palette now, I love this palette to death. I have one of my own. Like I said, I'll show you. It is a gorgeous purple palette. If you love purple shadows, you will love this. It is so bomb. But like I said, I've got this in past mystery boxes. I put it in a giveaway, and now I have another one. So it's just another product to add into a giveaway, which I'm not mad about because I love like like adding products to my giveaway box so I can have a nice big giveaway for you guys whenever that giveaway comes along. Um, so this will definitely go in a future giveaway. It's not going to be in this video. Like I said, I'm going to put it in my little giveaway bin. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of disappointed. I was kind of hoping it would be like something else. But just the fact that I got two palettes and one mystery box, that's pretty good. Like I feel like I've only gotten one palette. I could be wrong. I don't know. I feel like I've only gotten one palette in a mystery box. So the fact that I got two is pretty cool. But I'm overseeing this palette like I feel like they just like this palette just didn't do well and they're just trying to get rid of it which I totally understand but I've already had this palette three times so I need to get rid of it <laughs> and the last product oh dang <laughs> I was gonna say in the last product because let me show you what the box looks like right now I was kind of sad because I thought this mystery box was over so I see a mirror right well you move this tissue paper and there's more product. <laughs> I honestly thought I was done, but I guess not. Okay. Now, oh, and I see something that I almost purchased, but I didn't. Okay, let's just let's just talk about this mirror. So this looks like it's from the maybe the Orgy collection. I could be wrong. Let me open this up. Oh, and this is so pretty. Oh Oh my god, this is my favorite one by far. Another one that I have is like an orange one, and then I have a white with like gold glitter in it. This one is my favorite. Oh my god. I love this. I love this so much. I'm pretty sure this is from the Orgy collection, but I also could be wrong. Um, so that's super exciting. All of my mirrors I've gotten in mystery boxes, and I'm not mad at it at all. I love the mirrors. I think they're so pretty. Okay, so it looks like I got a lip gloss, another lip gloss, maybe a lip liner. Yes, a lip liner, liquid lipsticks in gorgeous shades, might I add, and then also a velvet trap lipstick, which I almost bought this. But I didn't. A funeral parlor. I feel like that's black. We'll see. Okay, so I got the gloss in the shade Wizard's Glass. And this is from the Bloodlust collection. Let me grab my lip glosses back there. Make sure I don't have that shade. Okay, so the shade that I have is Iridescent Throne. So I do not have the shade, which is good. So it's not a duplicate, which is the best when that happens. <laughs> but let's see what the shade looks like. Oh my god, this is so so pretty i don't even know if the camera's picking it up but it's like a i don't even know like a gold duo chrome i don't even know how to explain this shade but that is so it's not even showing like on camera as good as it is in person but let me go ahead and swatch this it's the prettiest like purple pink copper glitter i don't even know how to explain that Okay, now that gives it justice. You can see that copper, but then you move 
and you see that pink and that purple and that like blue that is a stunning color definitely different but like also wearable at the same time oh that is so pretty all right the next one oh this is the gloss in the shade let me be perfectly clear so is this a clear gloss oh my god it's a clear gloss when did he come out with this when did this happen what did he always have a clear gloss i feel like i'm losing it it's like i'm like as confused as i am with the single shadows like when did this happen like i feel like i like remember him talking about it but it must have just slipped my mind because i totally forgot about this so that's always a good thing to have a nice clear gloss um next we have a lip liner in the shade androgyny i think i already have this let me double check oh i don't have this i have the shades that i have in my collection are calabasas and unicorn blood i thought i had this i think i've been looking at it online but just like never purchased it i feel like that's why i'm confused and think i have it in my collection but it's a gorgeous color it matches the lip liner perfectly it's like that rose mauvey shade I love these shades, they are so pretty. They're like one of my go-tos. If it's not a nude, it's this shade. It's just oh, so pretty. All right, next is the shade Gemini, which I don't think I have this one either. Okay, so I don't have this shade. I am so excited about like not having duplicates. That's like, that's pretty good. Oh my God, that shade is so pretty. That's what that shade looks like. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I'm digging this mystery box so far. Okay, now this. Velvet Trap Liquid Lipstick in Funeral Parlor. I have a feeling this is black, but I don't even care because I just want to try this formula. So let's go ahead and open this. Oh, it's not black. What the heck? It's like a, like a light pale pink, but like a cool tone pink. I don't, I was really expecting this to be black, but now it's definitely like a lilac shade. It's super pretty. I would probably wear this in the center of a lipstick, not so much on its own. I feel like it's a little bit too light for me. It would definitely wash me out. It would make me look like I belong in a funeral parlor in a casket, <laughs> but it is still really, really pretty. And I'm just excited that I got a chance to like swatch this formula and kind of see what it's all about. So super, super pretty. Alrighty guys, so that is everything that I got in my Supreme Mystery Box. I am so happy with everything that I got and there was no duplicates besides the Bloodlust palette, which I'm kind of disappointed about because like I mentioned earlier, I've already received that palette in multiple mystery boxes, but the only good thing about that is I get to put it in a giveaway for you guys in the future, so stay tuned for that palette. You will definitely see it in a future giveaway, but... Everything else I'm so excited about and I'm very happy with everything that I got. So it was definitely worth the money. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to let me know in the comments down below and give this video a big thumbs up. And also, let me know what you guys got if you purchased a mystery box. I am super curious to see what everyone else got in their mystery boxes. I have not seen any videos or anything, so I literally have no idea. Um, so be sure to let me know in the comments down below. But if you're new here, be sure to click the subscribe button down below and turn on the notification bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!